Yo, what's going on guys? It's Boston Beast 31 today and I'm coming at you with a brand new video. It's the Dynasty Mode Deep Dive. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to show the trailer first and we're going to break it down a lot of detail. Hey everyone, Kirk Herbstreet here with EA Sports College Football 25, back for another deep dive. This time we're talking about everyone's favorite mode, Dynasty. Online Dynasty and College Football 25 can accommodate up to 32 teams, and you can play with friends for up to 30 seasons. Today, we'll take a closer look at the new 12-team college football playoff, recruiting, the transfer portal, and a ton of customization options to make your program unique. College football has seen seismic changes over the past few years. And in EA Sports College Football 25, you can experience this new landscape while building your program the way you want. The 2024 season marks the debut of the new 12-team college football playoff, and you can play it first in the game months before the real thing. You could be the first coach to lead your school through the new 12-team playoff and hoist the college football playoff trophy. Recruiting is the lifeblood of college football, and in a world of unlimited transfers, managing your dynasty roster has never been more important. Evaluate your needs and opportunities for talent upgrades at the start of each season. The best way to build a powerhouse is to recruit through the high school ranks. So let's fill up your recruiting board. Each year, over 3,500 high school recruits are generated from all over the country, with certain regions representing real-world hotspots for blue-chip talent, like South Florida and Metro Atlanta. Do research to find recruits that best fit your program and determine who you can realistically land. A recruit's interest in your school is decided by 14 different pitch grades like proximity to home, playing time, and brand exposure. So you'll need to discover how your program's pitch grades align with your recruit's desires in addition to scouting for talent. Some players have a deal breaker requirement, and if your program cannot provide, the recruit will lock you out. Deal breakers also drive a player's decision to enter the transfer portal. Monitor at-risk players and get one last chance to convince your favorites to stay. Track your recruits as they narrow down their top schools. Pitch a prospect to gain more interest and then set up school visits when the timing is right. It's crucial to remain in their top 10, then eight, then five, to finally be part of their top three. As a recruit trims down to the top eight, you can attempt to increase your appeal. If your school doesn't have exactly what the prospect is looking for, you can try to sway their opinion in your favor. Plan visits that elevate a recruit's experience, like pairing a quarterback visit with a wide receiver visit at the same time. It's crucial to keep an eye on the transfer portal when it opens in the offseason to round out your roster with talent you couldn't land from recruiting. Add portal prospects to your board just like you would with recruiting, but expect quick decisions as transfers have a shorter timeline to land a new home. Conference realignment is a hot topic in college football. And with custom conferences in EA Sports College Football 25, Dynasty is yours to control. See what a 20-team super conference might look like or revert to the traditional conference alignment. Shape the conference size and membership and set custom conference rules, set up divisions and more. Once you've settled your conference options, it's time to select your team. Begin with a highly ranked team and dominate at the top with repeat recruiting and playoff success. Or build from the ground up with a smaller program and prove you have what it takes to go from an unknown to postseason favorite. We can't talk about your dynasty without talking about your starting job. Start as an offensive or defensive coordinator and climb the ranks to head coach or take over a program as the head coach right away. Choose from one of the three base coaching types to start. Your coach type will determine what coaching skill tree you start with. 
from there, the abilities you acquire as you progress will determine what kind of coach you develop into. Unlock additional skill trees with better abilities. Or if you build up multiple skill trees, you can unlock hybrid trees that leverage a more diverse skill set. The coaching carousel is an important part of every coach's journey. Whether you're the head man at your dream school or working your way up, the carousel is your way of fielding offers from other programs. Head coaches in Dynasty can actively manage their coordinator positions. So if one of your staff takes a job elsewhere or you decide to cut ties for other reasons, you can use the carousel to replace them. Remember, even the greatest coaches need support and every coach has a unique skill tree. It's important to think about how you want to build your staff, whether that's doubling down on your existing strengths to max out your benefits or seeking out balance for a well-rounded staff. Choose wisely. The decisions you make here will matter to your program's success and your coach's progression. The benefits of coach talents are stackable. So if your head coach and defensive coordinator have the same ability, the impact for that ability will be greater. Well, that's it for today's deep dive into Dynasty Mode in EA Sports College Football 25. To make it game day every day this season, pre-order the MVP bundle. This first screenshot I'm going to share with you all is just coach XP goals that you get from coaching a game. And this guy, he was coaching Kentucky, and he runs a pro-style offense. And you can see the first downs, the fumbles recovered interceptions, pass deflections during a game. like You get stuff throughout the whole entire course of a game. And so it's very promising, all the detail just going in just to this one screen and more on this later. This picture here just shows the three types of coaches that you'll pick either when you're an offensive or defensive coordinator or if you go straight to the head coach route. You get to be a motivator, recruiter, or tactician. And a lot of skill trees go into that max level of 50 for everything. And I won't bore you with this. Let's go right into recruiting. Hopefully in a minute is enough to talk about this right here. So on the right side, you see academic prestige, athletic facilities, brand exposure, which is your NIL, campus lifestyle, championship contender, coach stability, coach prestige, conference prestige, playing time, pro potential, playing style, proximity to home, stadium atmosphere, and program tradition all play into these different type of pitches that you now see. And you won't be able to do any of this until you make your name known or your school known onto the recruit. So, for example, this player is going to be – he's try, this guy's trying to make a pitch at this player, and he already offered him a scholarship. And so whenever you offer a player a scholarship in this game – that's when you can immediately schedule a visit. And so what you can do with these actions, you can DM a player and you can talk to friends and family. You can soft sell something that that player may not have really interest in. So there's a screenshots I want to hear show. All right, these are the pitches that you can make at players. Pro potential, brand exposure, academic prestige, conference prestige, coach prestige, coach stability, athletic facilities, and proximity to home. Just on this first slide alone, Pro potential, obviously, if the player and your program projects players into the NFL, brand exposure, self-explanatory, academic prestige, conference prestige, and coach prestige, all vary on different aspects, so academic cannot be changed. Conference, if you change from the SEC to the Pac-12 or the Pac-2, it will change. Coach or prestige, it depends on the whole coaching staff, stability, how long the current coach has been staying. If they've been there for the next four years while the player's there, awesome. Athletic facilities, those can't be changed. But here's the rest of the um, factors that could play into getting recruits. Championship contender, is your team making the moves to be in the top 12 in the 12 team playoff? Campus lifestyle, stadium atmosphere, how well does your team play at home? Playing style, do they like how you play? Playing time, that plays a big factor now, and that goes in with the transfer portal and more on that in just a moment. But take a look at the, both of these. I'll have timestamps in the below if you want to go back and look at certain things in the description. But, yeah, there's a lot of detail going here. 
Hope you guys are enjoying this video. Like the video, comment below what's your favorite part of this whole deep dive so far, and subscribe if you have not already. So here you got the coach of Oregon. It's just a new created coach. Three-year contract, your goal is to win nine games per year. If you don't match that at year two, you could get fired a year early. Or let's say you go eight and four, eight and four, ten and two. They may consider you for an extra three years, but it all depends on how you do in your conference, throughout the games, throughout recruiting, throughout the portal. And that's the next big topic we're going to talk about is the transfer portal. Stick around. Okay, here we're at the transfer portal screen. You get 35 targets as well, 35 scholarships, but that all ties in with your recruiting board as well. So you see here this tight end from Ole Miss. You are fourth interest. He's in his top five, so you need to be on a lookout for these as much as you can. So this is a tight end. Oklahoma needs him. He's from a pipeline state. Your deal breaker right here is a championship container, which Oklahoma is iffy on. But you very well could go after this guy if you do the right things, just like you do in the normal recruiting menu. And now we're going to talk about the 12-team playoff. Okay, I won't bore you with all the details that are going through my head right now, but the campus sites in first round were Georgia, Texas, Oregon, and Michigan. And they all hosted. And then you get into the New Year's, New Year's Six Bowls of the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, the Rose Bowl, the Orange Bowl, the Cotton Bowl, the Sugar Bowl, and the Fiesta Bowl. Now, all these will be played out before we actually get to see it in person. And it's really cool to see this early in-game screenshot, even though the game is being released in just two weeks from tomorrow. So pause this, take a look at it. I'm going to have it on the screen for a little bit longer. But hopefully if you guys have questions, I'll try and help you all out. But look at these scores. That's the one thing that is standing out to me the most. These scores are realistic as all they can be. But the funny thing is, NC State is the one, t one seed. Okay, so you got here just a little screenshot of impact players, but more focusing here on my attention to detail, Georgia playing Alabama. It's 0-0 here in the first quarter, but you got records. You finally have records at the bottom of the ticker. Then you have the actual scores across the country. That's good. They're going to be updating those throughout the score around the nation. You got pre-play. You got all this other stuff. But that's really stood out to me. And then you got the stadium pulse indicator there in the top right. Really, really pretty game. I wish we got a play of this instead of just a screenshot. But, uh, yeah, let's hop right back into scheduling customization, and I'll talk more about that in just a second. Okay, this next screenshot is just a basic schedule. Central Florida, you can change that game. Florida State, you can change that game. Conference games, you can't change. But let's say you move Florida State to the SEC or Florida to the ACC. Once you make a team in your conference, you cannot change that game because it is going to be locked. Any questions about this, I'll be trying to answer in the comments below. Okay, a couple more things here in this breakdown. You got this screenshot of James Madison. If you move a team to a new conference... In your dynasty, it'll reflect on their jerseys, but also on the field where your team plays. And that is a beautiful screenshot of James Madison's field. So they're playing host to Wake Forest. And shout out to FCS Southeast for upsetting Washington State. They're in the bottom of the score, 24 to 17. Okay, last couple of screenshots I'm going to show you all here. Uh, you got Will Howard, transfer quarterback from Kansas State to Ohio State. Uh, helmet stickers, a.k.a. pride stickers, are in the game. So throughout the course of your season, they will update, as you see here from the first picture to the second picture. But now we're going to talk about my dynasty announcement for College Football 25.
So back in January of this year, I had the ultimate privilege of going with my pastor to Louisville, Kentucky, and visit the city, uh, learn more about Christ and how to make his name known to a lost and dying world. And just being with a group of college students, sightseeing Louisville, getting to see the outside of what they call Freedom Hall up there at the KFC Yum Center and the whole convention center as a whole and being surrounded by 15,000 young people and learn more about what God is doing for the city of Louisville, but also how we can continue to make his known, name known into our uh, communities. So I won't bore you with all the details, but if you want to know more about it, I'll be sure to include that in the comments if you leave a comment. But yeah, with that being said, I will be doing a Louisville Dynasty for College Football 25. Thanks for watching. Peace out.